वेलकम टू टू क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट पोलर प्लॉट इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट बोर्डर प्लॉट इन बोर्डर प्लॉट वी हैव स्टडीड टू प्लॉट्स सेपरेटली वन इज द मैग्नीट्यूड प्लॉट वन इज द फेज एंगल प्लॉट इन दैट केस वी हैव टू ड्रॉ टू प्लॉट इन सेपरेट केसेस इन सेपरेट प्लॉट्स नाउ इन पोलर प्लॉट वी विल स्टडी द प्लॉट व्हिच इज इन बिटवीन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड द फेज एंगल हियर द ओमेगा वैल्यू वेरीज फ्रॉम 0 till infinity that means we have to draw the plot magnitude versus phase angle one where the omega value varies from 0 till its infinity so let's start our class in polar plot we have to consider two things in your mind that is type and order what is type and what is order we have already discussed in previous classes today we will revise just that thing what is a type type means the number of pole at origin is known as type that means how many times the pole origin repeats is known as type of the system and order means what is the maximum power of s is known as order let's do in the graph suppose this is a graph in this curve we have to draw the polar plot in polar plot here it is the type zeros starting point this is the type one starting point this is the type two and this is type three starting point it will be the starting point for the types of the control system then what is order for order one this place we have to use for order one for order one we have to use this place and this place is used for order Two. This quadrant is used for order three, and this is for order four. We have to put in mind that the control system by plotting the polar plot, it is always started from the type place, and it is always ended at the order place. Now we will study how to plot the polar plot. If by plotting the polar plot, we have to follow. some steps the first step is we have to put in k place of s that is j omega so first step is put s is equal to j omega by putting s is equal to j omega g of s will be changes to g of j omega now in g of j omega we have to map find the magnitude of g of j omega in the second step so the second step is in g of s find the magnitude of g of j omega the third step is we have to find the angle part that is find the angle of g of j omega that means we have found the formula for magnitude and the angle in g of j omega the fourth step is the value of omega is varied from 0 till infinity so the fourth step is vary the magnitude and the phase angle from 0 to infinity that means if we have to put omega value 0 and omega value infinity for omega is equal to 0 we have to find its magnitude what is happening and when omega is equal to infinity we have to find the magnitude after getting the value of g of 0 g of infinity angle of g of 0 and angle of g of infinity we can graph of the polar coordinates that means this is the polar coordinate in polar coordinate this angle is 0 degree this angle is 90 this is 180 degree and this is 270 degree it is in the anti clockwise direction but if go for in the clockwise direction the angle will be zero this angle is minus 90 degree this is minus 180 and this is minus 270 degree this is the phase angles we have to draw we have to plot the graph by this phase angle and the magnitude part the magnitude will be zero value is here here is the positive magnitude the negative magnitude positive magnitude negative magnitude depending upon the type and the order we have to plot the graph separately we will plot the polar plot for different types and different order separately one by one we will do in the next class all these things one by one thank you